today our class is about intermuscular space today our class is about intermuscular space before starting the class please share the video with your friends and classmates and do subscribe follow us in instagram for notes insta id will be there at in the description you can have check next today our class is about intermuscular space our class is about intermuscular space okay yeah now coming to the point see in the intermuscular space see the in it um, there is uh, some contents that are involved in it those are this is scapula first one is scapula and this one is humerus okay these two bones involved in this content and next it is teres minor muscle teres minor muscle and it is teres major muscle teres major muscle and it is long head of triceps bracket long head of triceps bracket okay this one is teres minor this one is teres major and it one this one is long head of triceps bracket these three muscles are involved in it and this view is posterior view okay and this view is posterior view it is available in our book actually yeah next coming to the point in this we have three spaces first one is quadrangular space this one i will draw with the red one i will draw with red one this space is called quadrangular space because the shape of this space is quadrilateral quadrilateral quadrangular next this space is called triangular space that means upper tri this one is also called as triangular space here this space is present at low so it is called lower triangular space and uh, this space is present at upset so it is called upper triangular space it is called upper triangular space okay for the perfect view see take your two fingers of the left hand and again two fingers uh, i mean uh, index finger as well as middle finger with one hand and uh, index finger and middle finger with one more hand okay these two are teres major muscles and the left hand left uh, two fingers is called teres major and teres minor muscles and uh, the right in the right hand the middle finger is called triceps brachii and uh, the index finger is called uh, that means humerus okay now coming to the point c take your two fingers and uh, see in the this middle finger upon the left hand middle finger and below the index finger and this index finger is below the middle and index finger see this space is called quadrangular space this is called lower triangular space this is called upper triangular space okay yeah now coming to the point um first one is upper quadrilateral quadrangular space first one is quadrangular space in the quadrangular space the boundaries of the quadrangular space is at the superior side here this is the quadrangular space at the superior side we can see subscapularis okay in the infront here the it is occupied by subscapularis muscle at the superior surface and at the superior surface capsule of shoulder joint here is the shoulder joint and here there is a capsule of shoulder joint at this joint there we will have capsule at the superior region capsule of shoulder joint also occupies and at the inferior border of teres minor this is inferior border of teres minor this is teres minor so it is the inferior border of teres minor so while coming to the superior they we may have three parts first one is subscapularis second one is capsule of shoulder joint and third one is teres minor muscle third one is teres minor muscle and now coming to the inferior surface see we can see superior surface of teres major muscle this muscle is called teres major muscle here we can see the superior surface of teres major muscle and towards medial medial means towards body lateral means away from the body so in this the medial side is towards body and here is the body because it is the right side okay next at the medial side we can see here uh, lateral i mean long head of triceps brachii and coming to the lateral side we can see surgical neck of humerus surgical neck of humerus okay next coming to the point the contents uh, i mean in the quadrangular space the contents present is axillary nerve 
see axillary nerve is in yellow color so we don't have yellow ink so we cannot write with yellow this is axillary nerve we are having axillary nerve as well as posterior circumflex humeral vessels that means both arteries and veins posterior circumflex circumflex uh, i mean circumflex humeral artery posterior circumflex humeral vein okay these three are the contents that are present in the quadra quadrangular space in the intermuscular space okay these are the boundaries and the contents that are present in this uh, space now coming to the upper triangular space now coming to the upper triangular space that means this space see we can uh, observe this clearly while coming to the boundaries it has only three boundaries because it is triangular in shape so the superior border is inferior surface of teres minor we can see clearly next coming to the lateral side here is the lateral side there is lateral long head of triceps bracket and there is no medial side because it is apex and at the inferior surface we can see teres major muscle okay next coming to the contents of upper triangular space uh, there is a circumflex scapular artery there is circumflex scapular artery from upper triangular space there is circumflex artery from upper triangular space okay uh, it occupies to the i mean it goes to the scapula so this is the character diagram it goes to the scapula next coming to the lower triangular space see in the lower triangular space the boundaries observe the boundaries the uh, superior surface we are having lower border of teres major muscle and at the lateral surface we are having humerus and coming to the medial surface we are, uh, here it is having long head of triceps bracket and the contents present in the lower triangular space is nerves and vessels that means radial nerve one is radial nerve and uh, another one is profunda brachii vessels vessels means both arteries and veins that means two profunda brachii artery profunda brachii vessels in the same point here is uh, here is also at the quadrangular space also there is vessels that means posterior circumflex humeral vessels this is all about today's class and in the today's class it is important very important for two marks as well as uh, i mean it is very important for two marks in the individual concept that means quadrangular space is for two marks upper triangular space is for two marks and lower triangular space is for two marks and by combining all these three it will give for five marks they may give for five marks also thank you all we will meet again tomorrow